hey, how's it going? So, uh, I have to say I'm digging Angular. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Okay, so this is React, right? This is React. We have a variable. We have a function that increases the variable, right? And then we have in our DOM, we have count, which is displaying the variable, and button that is running the function that increases the variable. Now, here's the problem in React. The DOM is virtual. So it doesn't matter how much I click, the count is not going to be increased. Okay, why? Because there is nothing to re-render the DOM because the DOM is virtual. Do you understand? Right, so now if we do something slightly different, we need to force a re-render and then it's going to work. Okay, so we're going to do this. Look. We're going to remove this. Whoops. What are we going to do? Um, we're going to do like this. So we need to create a... We need to use a use state so we can re-render the component. So let's say const count set count uh, use state equals zero. Now we are going to be displaying count and in here we're going to be set count count plus plus. I think this should work. Now it's going to work. Okay, you see? But note that DOM is lagging. You see the DOM is lagging. Because this should be 11, but on the DOM it's only 10. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to basically... Uh, because, yeah, you're going to have that in React, honestly. You're going to have that in React. So what we need to do, we need to console. Because what's happening is we need to use use effect. And then we need to console log count. Okay. And we, and we need to only console log it once the count is changed. So what happens is when the count re-renders, it will then um, console log it, right? So you see, now they're going to be in sync, I think, right? Why do I have to double click in here? Um, let's just do this. No. Why do you have to double click it? Wait a minute. So let me just do this then. This will be better. I think this would be a smoother experience, right? No, I still have to double click. I wonder why that is. I think it's like this. This would be single click now. Okay. Yeah, I remember I had that issue with the um, plus pluses. That's why I don't use them that much. Yeah. Now it's in sync. Yeah. I remember, like, I had that problem where you use count plus count plus plus. It just for some reason does that, right? So you see now the problem. The problem is because you have to force a re-rendering. And when you force re-rendering, uh, DOM gets repainted, and that's how you get the, the thing going, right? You see, so now it's working. So you see, like, the problem, right? You have to have a hook that forces a re-render. So um, you do not have this problem with Angular. Angular has... A direct feed. You do not need to re-render anything. It just works by itself. 
So let's go to the code. I'll show you the code. All right. So, so we have a variable test render. It's called test render, right? It's set to zero. A uh, type is number. In uh, in Angular, you have to use TypeScript, right? Which is good. It avoids errors. Okay. Then we have a function that does exactly the same thing with a plus plus. And then in our HTML, we have the button that is running the um, function, which is this function here. And of course, we have a variable displayed, which is this variable here. Now, you can just ignore all of this mambo jumbo because I'm practicing right now. But do you see the benefits is that it's working without forcing a re-render because the DOM is live. It's not a virtual DOM. It's an actual live DOM. So we're doing 7 to 9 now. So in my opinion, this is actually a massive game changer, I have to say. This is a big, big, big game changer because I think application is just going to be a lot faster. And this, you see, because there is a bit of a, you have to factor in that React has to unmount a component, go through the reconsolidation phase, which where it compares the, re, we, the, compares the component trees previous to the new, and then it repaints the component. Whereas this thing seems to be just running by itself. I have to say, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Take care.